Power 106, LA's number one for hip hop. I'm Letty here with my Greg, guy Greg Cena. What's Usually, up? Greg is not a part of my interviews. Not really, not really. But he would not leave me alone until I let him in this room because <laughs> we are interviewing Nab today. Yeah. Nab, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Thank you, Nab. The way that you have my guy Greg, he was telling me through his darkest times, yep. you were there, and so wow. I'm like, let, let me bless you real quick. Let, exactly. Let's let you talk to to the guy that really helped you through some tough times. So yeah. basically, this is a meet and greet. Thank you for coming. <laughs> No, but Greg, talk to, talk to Nev about it. Like, I want him to know. Uh, you had just came up with perfect timing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw your video with Metro Boomin call me. Mm -hmm. At the end of the video, you're with the, on a Ferrari. He has two phones. And I was like, you know what? You guys have that red iPhone. I need that phone now. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Dude, I would caption all my Instagram posts. Like, if you need me, just call me. Let's That's go. Fun. I was in a chokehold. He's hold. going through a breakup. Yeah, I was going so through the worst breakup, break bro, but... Do the best. I like yeah. it. I like Appreciate it. Appreciate like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, now, now you came with with a great single today. It's dropped. It's lately, yep. and it's right before Valentine's Day. Nav, I really wanted to talk to you about the single because usually people want to be booed up Valentine's Day. They want to have a partner, but this song is like you know. I just want to be alone mm -hmm. right now. I mean, I guess I made something for the Lonely Hearts, you know? You yeah. did. Yeah. It has a Valentine, so. <laughs> You did. You yeah. knew that lane to go through, and people are liking it because it's not just, I just want to be alone, but it has, like, a good upbeat vibe, you know? It reminds me, Loki, you know how Kid Cudi would have, like, records that are, like, super hype, but he's talking about some real feelings, mm -hmm. you know? You put that in there. It was perfectly crafted. Did you intention, for, was the intention to keep it upbeat? Um, yeah, because uh, at the time, like, you know, my fans on my OG sound or whatever. So mm -hmm. if you listen to, like, the chord progression and the stuff that I played on the beat, um, it's like the OG sound. But Similar. I wanted to have a little bit more fun with the with the beat pattern on this one. So I changed mm -hmm. it up. But, you know, it kind of polarized my fans. Like, you know, some are saying, yeah, it's the OG sound. And some are saying, no, it's not. Yeah. But there's a lot of that typical OG sound that they want coming it, out. It's a good debate to have, too. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, what is this? Where do I hear this? What this reminds me of this. Like, nah, this is elevated and yeah. stuff like that. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to have fun this time. You know? yeah. Is that what you also want for NAV, too? Because it's something in it. It's a self-title an album. Mm -hmm. And so we had NAV, right? But you were like, you know what? This is so me still that I just got to double up and do NAV 2 as a project. Yeah, I mean, I owe it to my day one fans, so, mm -hmm. yeah. To, to keep that, and do you do you see this going on as a series, or was this something that you're like, no, nah, I got I got, I got, got these two, they, they go well together? I mean, like, I have to continue to produce my own music, mm -hmm. like, always, you know what I mean? But I like doing my collaboration albums, too, like the ones yeah. with, like, Wheezy and um, Metro. So, like, I'm always open to that, but I have to always stick to producing my own music. So. Yeah. Man. No, Even if it's not called Nav 3, I'm still going to make It's something. still going to be you. It's going to be you on you. Pause. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right. I got to ask you, man. We saw that video of Uzi oh. jumping into your pool. <laughs> yeah. I want to know, is, was it just an intrusive thought? Did you talk to Uzi? Did, was and it a dare? Was, was it a dare? What was that? What was He's that? actually made that jump before. He's made and, it before. Oh. Yeah, and convinced me to to jump. To try it. And I did it. And I like I, I thought about it like twenty times before I did it. And I did it. And I almost I almost felt like him. But I grabbed him and I and that was like three years ago. Ooh. So this time the water was way higher the level. Uh -huh. yeah. And I just didn't think he was gonna do it. We're, we're walking by and I'm like, yo, remember that one time you jumped in the pool <laughs> and you convinced me to jump in there? And before I could even finish my sentence, he tried it again. You know. And I was just, I, I never been in that, like, in tears like that in my That's life. Amazing. I was out of breath. I and you breathe. knew, like, oh, I know this is recorded. Like, I know I got the footage. Yeah, like, if you watch the video, you can see that I'm literally out of breath laughing. We couldn't, yeah. even, we couldn't even slap hands after. We totally missed because we're out of breath. Look, you and Uzi are great friends, and you guys have collabed before. We've seen some good stuff from you, too. Is this leading to something as well? You know, he's coming off of just the the hit that is I Want to Rock. Mm -hmm. And with you, it's always gold with him. Yeah, it's just, we have a genuine relationship. Like, that's my real friend. So um, it's easy making music with him. Like, that night, he just wanted to record to all my beats. And we pulled up a bunch of my beats and recorded to all, like, all of the ones I pulled up. He wasn't even um, listening to the beat. He'll just put the headphones on and start instantly. He didn't even want to think about it. Damn. So that show was fire to watch that. It's very inspiring. How did that friendship come along, you and Uzi? Um, first, well, I mean, first one met. of his first shows, um, I, I went to that show and like backstage and everything, and, and I met him real quick. And then he like let me know that he listens to my stuff too, you yeah. know, SoundCloud yeah. days or whatever. Hmm. And um, after that, he went on tour with Abel. And when oh. he went on tour with Abel, I, I went on that tour too just to like, see, mm -hmm. be on yeah. tour. And that's when everything clicked. Everything that's just, dope because tour yeah. is like you guys have a lot of time on the road with each other. You you build those bonds. You know, it's it's unlike anything else. You guys are essentially like dorming together, kind of in different places. You know, right. and having like that 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 brotherhood that's gonna take that's gonna be forever. 
hundred percent. Yeah. Now you do also have a brotherhood with Metro. You and Metro are amazing. We saw what he did last year with his project, or was it beginning of this year? The um, heroes and villains. That was last year. That was last year. Yes. But he did an incredible thing with his project. How is it with two producers? Granted, you are for all around artists, but to to kind of just work and collab with each other. How does that? How does that work? Um, I mean, for me. Like I like I like working with producers that I feel like are better at um, drums than me, because mm. I n- I don't think I'm the best at drums, um, but I like to do the melody part. I like to play all the melodies. Yeah. Mm. So when it comes to like working with producers, I have a harder time working with the guys that are making all the melodies because I'm like, I could do that. I got I that. that. I want to do that part. Yeah. Well, we could do that together if anything. But Sheesh. Then, but you know you're you got yeah, that. Yeah, I want to like, do that. Yeah. Hey, exactly. hit me with the drums. I got you with the melodies. Exactly. Like Weezy. Like yeah. Weezy. I, all day I let him do drums. <laughs> yeah. I noticed in the uh, lately. On the drums, you kind of left out the second half of the drums. Mm-hmm. Were you thinking like this is how I want to do it? Were you just sitting there in the studio like, yo, this is it? Like it's just like you know, creating that build up in the song. Yeah. You know, always like if it just feels linear, it's just not, it's not exciting. <laughs> no, I love that. And you know, he was he kept mentioning it's like first brown boy to get poppin'. poppin'. That's a, that's a title that you wear proudly, yep. and you're repping for not just it's. I think it's. Brown of any descent. That's you what know? they be telling me when they meet me, like yeah. meeting greets or whatever. Like a lot of Mexican kids, different brown kids, they be saying like you the voice for everyone. Yep. I like that. This yeah. guy, I, I agree. Yeah. I, I was saying it all day. I was like, he's the first brown boy to get a oh, pop. Yeah, that's like, it. Come on, that's put it. some respect on it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's dope to have you in here. I look forward to Nav too. Lately, he already has us on a vibe. Like I think that what you're setting up is it's so important to start in the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. and you did that. So I'm sure this is gonna ride out until like springtime, and I know you're gonna give us more more music. Yep. Man, more all self produce. Let's Ooh. go. Nav on Hi. Nav. <laughs> yeah. Nav on Nav too, man. It's coming. Yep. You got, you got anything? No, just excited, waiting. Let's go. Thank you so much for stopping by, no Nav. Problem. Thank you. Anytime guys. you want to come through, it's Power 106. You know, got fans here, okay? I appreciate it. Yeah.